We'd like to welcome everyone to Easel Harding Christian School tonight. We had some technical difficulties coming on the air. The Sycamore War Eagles won the toss and they deferred to the second half. Daniel Williams on the carry for Easel Harding pushes the ball across the midfield line. My name is Jeff Phillips. I'm assisted tonight by Austin Binkley providing color commentary for us. Austin was a member of the football this team this year before he was injured. He's going to be uh, providing some play-by-play -play for us. That's right. We're 10 minutes and 38 seconds to go. We're in the first quarter. He's already took the kickoff down to the 45-yard line. On third and two, a run by Daniel Williams to the right side, a pickup of a first down. Good hard run. And we're seeing uh, Blake Smotherman, number 21, at quarterback again for the second week in a row. Uh, he broke, was it his arm or his wrist? He broke his left ago. wrist. Broke his left wrist three weeks ago. Did not miss a game, returned the, the following week. Tough guy. He actually absolutely is. Blake's under center. Handoff left to 34 Williams again. Gain of about two or three. I think some of the keys definitely this tonight is we're we're seeing a, a stiff 10 to 15 mile an hour wind right now. It's gusting up from 25 miles an hour or so. And it's chilly out there. It's, it's chilly at kickoff. It was 56 degrees and dropping. Uh, maybe a maybe a tough night on passing for both teams. Yeah. Definitely a, establishing a run game early is is critical for Ezo Harding. Blake drops back and gets sacked. Yeah, they didn't have a whole lot of protection yeah. there on that. I don't look like maybe a, a blitz by number 41 it was a Dylan Bright, one of the captains for the Sycamore War Eagles. Ezel comes into this game uh, even at four and four. They had a, a real solid win last week against Davidson Academy. They won 42-21 over Davidson. Third and 11 here. Some other man drops back. Sacked again. He had a whole lot of pressure off at edge by number two, Luke Phillips for the War Eagles. That brings Looks about. like we'll bring on the punt team. A big fourth down here. And Sycamore, the War Eagles come in at five and three, Austin this year. Uh, a pretty tight loss last week against Good Pasture. They, they got some big boys. They do. They lost 21-7 to Good Pasture. Colt Ellis is back right now to punt. Uh, it takes a War Eagle bounce up towards the line of scrimmage. Down right past the first down marker. Looks, looks like, like they'll start the drive about the 34-yard line. Number four, break settle, Adam Clinton. Looks like they're in a, a, a wing T look there. 22 Bubba Bowling was on the carry. Also looks like he picked up quite a few yards there. Yeah, there's a big hole for him. Hopefully we'll make some adjustment. Running a quick huddle back to the line. And off of the middle to 41. Carrying the Eagles down to the 39-yard line. Yeah, 41 Dylan Bright. A big hole in the Eagles. It looks like across the front, Austin, it looks like uh, a little size advantage right now for, for Sycamore Wee Eagles. Big size advantage. Number 79, he's a senior. Uh, Heath Cherry playing that left side tackle. But they haven't run to his side yet. Not yet. I expect it soon, though. They break the hole there in the a wing T motion. And off up the middle, 28. It's about four or five yards. Yeah. Tackled by a host of Eagles. 
Looks like uh, Justin Woodard, number 71, coming up off the bottom of that pile. Probably our best defensive lineman. Looks like, looks like they're going to stay in that double tight end wing look. They try to go around the end, but he's met by Daniel Thompson, number 85. Loss of one on the play. And Daniel this year is in this in this 3-4 look that Ezel's been showing. has been playing that that wide side defensive end for us. Uh, he's done a real good job. Yeah, he's a good player. He's only a sophomore. Got a bright future. Now he's been, mean, been able to disrupt many offenses coming off that edge and making some sacks and rushing, uh, rushing the passer. He's a quick guy. A little toss sweep to uh, yeah. looks like he got chased down by number 12, Jason Clark, at about the 20 yard line after a first down. Luke yeah, Luke Phillips again, number two on that carry, advances those chains for another first down for the War Eagles. This is this season with the Eagles coming in even at four and four is Coach Hall's first season for Ezel Hardy. Toss to the right, number 25. Looks like he's down at about the one or two yard line. Yeah, 25, Jimmy Baggett, he's a senior also running back for the War Eagles. Good hard run right there. Yeah, it looks like he came short. How close is he to the to the end zone there, Austin? Looks like he's at the one. At the one. And kind of like Coach Hall this year, Coach Ty Williams, this is his first year with the Sycamore War Eagles, posting a 5-3 and three record. Having a good year so far. He is. Come out in that double tight. Power. And off up the middle, stopped by the Eagles. No gain on the play. And Cranston Gentry coming up off the bottom, assisted by, once again, Daniel Thompson off that edge. The Eagles are going to have to really step up right here with their feet in the end zones. Cranston Gentry from linebacker. Looks like a loss of one on the play in the second and We're back second and goal. A little misdirection, 25, advances into the end zone. Jimmy Baggett for the touchdown with five minutes and nine seconds to go in the first quarter. The War Eagles are set to uh, Attempt this point after number 12, Scott Herstack is our kicker. He's a junior. He did not he make it, Austin. He missed it. Late signal. It was close. So with five minutes and nine seconds to go in the first quarter, he's a Harding is down 6-0 to the War Eagles of Sycamore. It was uh, freshman year when Coach Howell made us run uh, like th two or three hours with one shoe on. Okay. Do you have any word things that you would like to say about Coach Howell? Uh, I guess just that we're better than we used to be at football and stuff. All right, Austin, we're back. The Eagles need a big play here. Absolutely. Got a pretty good return last time by Blake Smotherman. See if we can do it again. Yeah, Smotherman is one of the returners. Who else do we have back to return this kick, Austin? Uh, number 34, Daniel Williams, is back there. He's a good hard runner. Got some speedy guys. Squib kick picked up by Cranston. Oh, it actually goes through his 
through his arms. Blake has it going up the right side. Brought down, 28 yard line. 27 yard line. Number 25, Jimmy Backett, another senior for the War Eagles on that, that big tackle of Smotherman. You know, Blake is so dangerous in space when he, he takes those kickoffs. Very quick. You know, he took that opening kickoff, advanced it well beyond the 35 to, to give Ezel a good starting position. <laughs> Small one again as a quarterback under center with Cranston Gentry as the fullback. Handoff around the left side to number 44, Dorian Banks. Pushed out of bounds after a game of about two. He suffered an injury, it's his first game back. Had a concussion. Dorian Banks on the carry for Lisa Harding gained a two on the play. Second and eight for the Eagles. Jimmy Baggett on the stop. Second and eight. Easy on breaking, once again, a, a power eye formation. Double tight. Toss to the right side to 34, Daniel Williams. Daniel Williams carrying the ball for Ezell Harding. Dan of about three on the play. And what grade is Daniel in Austin? Daniel's, Daniel's only a freshman. He's a freshman. Yeah. It's a good strong run by that Daniel freshman to advance the ball up to, to give us a He's a tough guy. He runs hard. Gives us a third and a long four to get this first down. Caldwell out to the Splitting out to the wide wide side of the field. And Daniel Thompson to the short side of the field. Blake drops back. He's Just dropped. no pass protection for the Eagles tonight so far. Well, Austin with this wind blowing the way it is and pass protection. It's going to be a tough night. The Eagles can't establish a run game. Yes, they need to establish the run. But we... Last week we saw the Eagles against Davidson Academy establish a run game and dominate that offense. They open hole, big holes for the running backs. Colt Ellis back in punt formation. Colt Ellis is back to punt for Ezell. Good high kick. So Almost hits short. the War Eagle. It's going to be down by the Ezell Harding Eagles. About the 36-yard line. Yeah, number seven, Freddie Teague, a senior for the War Eagles, chose not to return that ball. So the ball's going to be spotted right at the War Eagles 40-yard line. We'll take it first and 10. We're at three minutes and 23 seconds to go in the first quarter. The War Eagles are up 6-0 over at Ezel Harding Eagles. A little bit different look with two splits in motion for the War Eagles. Looks like 85 Daniel Thompson coming off the edge again for a tackle. Maybe a loss of one on the play. Yeah, it looks like, looks like he might not have been spotted for a gain at all on that, Austin. They'll bring up a second down and 10. Let's get still in a, a cover two package right now against the War Eagles. And they're back to the pass. Number two, Luke Phillips, that senior on that reception for the War Eagles. The pass from number four, Adam Clanton. Tackle by number six, Casey Perkins, which is only an eighth grader. He's done a good job stepping up. Yeah, Casey's had, Casey, after his uh, successful eighth grade season, was brought up with several other eighth graders. Uh, we've had quite a few injuries this year, Austin. Um, and Casey's come on board and, and really contributed that safety position. Yeah. He's a headhunter. Number five, Nathan Hunt for the War Eagles split to this side. Number 22, Bubba Bowling on that long run for the for the War Eagles. Huge hole for him. 
feel like it was at 15 the last Kane come up and and didn't wrap up kind of chest bumped in there for a second he's such a strong runner you've got to tackle him low and wrap him up to get low on him Number seven, Freddie Teague split out to the far side for the War Eagles. Got a hand up, up, hand off up the middle. Dylan Bright on the carry, stopped by East Maybe Carter, Casey Perkins. The 11th Dana grader, Dylan Bright, 41 with that carry five, to advance the ball down on that first down, make about second and long five. We're about 145 to go in this first quarter of action. The Eagles need a stop here. They do. And off around the end, number two, cuts it back up the middle. He might have a first down. He, was, he looked like he was chased down. Maybe it was at Daniel Thompson Daniel from the backside. Yeah. Come all the way across the line of scrimmage oh, and chased him down. Side. He's hustling out there. It yes. was a first down for the War Eagles. So they have first and 10 from the 12. So they can get a first down without getting a touchdown. Eagles in a little movement on defense, giving a little bit different look. Looks like he might have lost the ball, but he got back on it after being tripped up by number 20, Cranston Gentry. Yeah, Cranston playing that inside linebacker really came hard on that play to, to save that touchdown. We're under one minute to play right now in action at Ezel Harding. The War Eagles are driving at 6-0 War Eagles over the Ezel Harding Christian School Eagles. Be second and four, maybe three for the War Eagles. Double tight end wing. Hand off around the left side. Met in the backfield by 34, Daniel Williams, coming up from that linebacker position. Bubba Bowling on the carry again, stopped near the line of scrimmage by Ezel Daniel Williams. And Daniel's really had to step no up this year. Play. You were playing that position earlier this season, weren't you? The inside yes, linebacker. Was. He's done a good job stepping in with him and number 12, Jason Clark, who is just a freshman, both of them. So the clock's winding down. That'll be the end of the first quarter. Sycamore's up 6-0 over Isla Harding, and they're knocking on the door at the, the five-yard line, third down. And recording. What was your best memory in football? Uh, my favorite memory was probably freshman year, our football camp at Tech. We got to stay there throughout the week, stay in the dorms, had three practices a day. It was a good time. Okay. Do you have any word of things you'd like to say about the coaching staff? Uh, I think they came in and done a great job, what they had to work with, and I think they'll be able to build the program throughout the next few years. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. What was your best memory in football? Uh, probably the time I missed football practice and uh, I went to go see a movie, the movie Thor. And uh, I earned the nickname Thor for the rest of the time I played football because of that. It just stuck with me. Do you have any word things you want to say about the coaching staff? Um, they're really good coaches. Start of the second quarter, here's Jeff Phillips. I'm assisted tonight with a little color commentary by Austin Binkley. Austin, Eagles got to make some adjustments on defense. Yes, they've been just running it down their throats the whole game. Haven't even seen maybe one pass as the quarterback rolls out to the left. Looks like he might have got the ball over the pylon, but they're going to mark him down at the one out of bounds. Looks like it might have been Brian Allison. Stepping up from that corner Stepping position. up to save that touchdown from that corner. But it will, he will advance that ball to first and goal for the War Eagles. So a new set of downs, four chances to get in the end zone here. Looks like the ball is going to be spotted inside the one-yard line, Austin. Expect a blitz here from the Eagles. Going to have to fill those gaps and keep them out of the end zone. We're going to have to definitely use our speed and take advantage of some of the size of the Sycamore line. And off around the end. 34, Daniel Williams comes from the backside. 
Looks, he thinks Looks like he has the ball. No. Run. They didn't. They blew Just the whistle. Just now, a late whistle. Not sure what they're signaling here. They're saying he was down by contact. Look, that was. It looked like Bubba Bowling, number 22, with that run. Might have put the ball on the ground. Definitely put the ball on the ground after the play was blown dead. Daniel Williams wasn't sure what to do. So the Eagles do stop them on first down from getting the end zone. Yeah, that was a big stop right there. It was at least three Eagles making that tackle. They're definitely going to have to step up now and, and gain tackle, tackling. It looks like they maybe lose a lose a half yard on that. Be second and goal from about the one still. Try to sneak it. Looks like he's met though. He got a good push off the line. Yeah. It's going to stop him again. 34 Daniel Williams has the ball again, but they did mark him down again. Also, how many times were they going to put the ball on the ground before we recover? It's happened two or three times already this game. Definitely no no gains going to bring third down and goal again. Now, this is the kind of stop Eagles need right now, definitely, Austin. Hold it, guys, hold it. And we're getting a good push from the line, getting in those gaps. Looks like 34 Williams has been moved to the nose position. Hand off the left side. Now that Barely second, gets in the second end zone. effort. Austin, they pushed it in the end zone. Made contact with him about the two yard line. He just had the extra lean to get into the end zone. So it's 12 0 War Eagles pending the extra point. And number five, Nathan Hunt, senior wide receiver, is going to be the holder for the War Eagles. Blocked wow. by number 24, Brian Allison. Number five picks it up, but it's tackled. Look like maybe like that. By Matt Ganip. Great job coming off the edge for Brian Allison. Absolutely. That was a big stop. We know we gave up the touchdown, but they haven't been able to convert an extra point. So with 10 minutes and 28 seconds to go in the second, the War Eagles are up 12, nothing over our Eagles, Austin. We're gonna have to get our run game going because the passing game doesn't look like it's there. Unless we make some protection adjustments. It's hard for our Eagles to handle these big War Eagles on the opposite side of the line. As you said earlier, big size advantage. Like we again have number 21, Blake Smotherman and Daniel Williams back to return this kick. It'd be interesting to see if they squib this one like they did the last yeah. one. They'd kick it, kick Think it to, to either, either of those two returners or have the opportunity and the ability to break it big. Yeah, I think Blake scared them after the first one. That's why mm -hmm. they squibbed that second one. Let's see what they do here. And Scott Herstack kicking. Once again, a squib. Falling on by Rayshon Perry at about the 29-yard line, number 80. That's not a bad decision. No, it's a good decision. He had people running full speed at him. It's the best thing to do is ensure the position. Get your offense out there, give him a chance. So the ball spotted about the 29-yard line for Uzo Harding. Looks like Blake Smotherman is still at quarterback number 21 for the Eagles. 44, Dorian Banks comes in at the tailback. They're going to hand it to him going to the left, but he's met quick by number 41 and number for the 41, Warriors. Dylan Bright, we have mentioned it several times, is one of the seniors, I'm sorry, one of the, the junior captains for this Warrior Eagle team. Little gain there, maybe one yard. Make it second and nine. Being rest, we're, we're staying in this double tight end look, trying to establish this run game. 
Pitch to the right to 44 Dorian Banks. Ball falls on the ground, but he falls on it. Yeah, that was that was huge that he recovered that. Looks like he's going to lose about two yards, maybe three. Bring up a long third down. A passing down. We're going to need some good protection on this play. Yeah, looks like we've, we've moved out of that double tight look. So they shift out wide. Blake drops back. No protection at all no. for the Eagles, just no. destroying them up the middle. Yeah, 22 Bubba Bowling comes blowing through the line. Big loss on the play. Bring on the punt team once again for the Eagles. Yeah, Blake didn't have a didn't have a chance on that one to even set his feet to throw the football. So two three and outs in a row for the Eagles. Yeah, we're gonna have to have to establish that run. Picking up that, I mean, I don't necessarily think that was necessarily a, a blitz coming off that edge. And the linebacker came right through. Looks like they're coming for this punt. Very close to blocking it, but he got it off. Fair catch. Oh, fair catch. And then he falls back on it. Brian Allison tackles him. Yeah, Brian Allison with a, a big tackle right there. Brian Allison. Number seven, Frey T called for that fair catch and just bobbled the football. Yeah, and the Eagles bank them all the way to the 46. You would have expected them to be closer to the goal line as far as we were backed up. So good job by the special teams on that play. We're seeing the Eagles loading the box now against this double tight wing. And off up the middle, big hole, 41. 41, and Dylan Bright on that long run for the War Eagles. He steps out at about the 13-yard line. Just once again, a huge hole for the War Eagles to run through. Yeah, Elias Kane ran him down. Elias, I believe he's a sophomore in Austin. Yes, he's got a lot of playing time this year as a sophomore, really stepped up. Yeah. So overall, we're seeing a very young Isa Harding team here. Very young. Drops back to pass. A pass. And He's got a guy wide open on the right side, and I think he got in the end zone. Yeah, no, he's, he's down, down, at he's down at the one. one yard line. So once again, we'll see this goal line package for the War Eagles and see if the Eagles can make a stop. Yeah, 15 Elias Kane and 11 Matthew Gannett, both sophomores, made that big stop. We're at eight minutes in to go in the second quarter. Looks like he dropped back to pass, but had a guy wide open right in the middle of the end zone, didn't see him, tried to throw it to the covered receiver. Throws it into the dirt, so that'll make it second and goal from the one. Yeah, Brian Ellison had a really good coverage on that play. The Eagles have been in this position before and forced two fumbles that were blown dead. Last possession for the War Eagles. They need a big stop. Ball Balls on the, the ground. ground. Quarterback falls on it. So the War Eagles having a hard time holding on to the ball. These are Harding Eagles just can't seem to get their hands on it before they do. We gotta take advantage of when that ball's on the ground right now. That's gonna be third down and goal right right there from about the one and a half yard line. So the Eagles can make a big stop here. Good coverage right there by Brian Allison once again. Yeah, Brian Allison making a, a big play right there to break it up. Number 42, I think J.D. Hill, a sophomore, was intended to target for Sycamore. Big Fourth. play right here for the Eagles. Fourth and goal. Absolutely. We need to stop right here. Huge play. Number five, 
Nathan Hunt split wide for the Sycamore War Eagles. Expect the hard count. Yeah, the Eagles are lo loaded the box. Right up the middle. And he rolls in the end zone. At 41, Dylan Bright goes into the end zone again for the War Eagles. You know, Austin, they've had a, the War Eagles had a tough time converting this extra point. They missed the first one and had a, a bad hole the second. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be coming for this one, too. Very close to blocking it, but I think he made it. So that one's good. And he, he put that one through barely. With seven minutes and 12 seconds to go in the second. The War Eagles are up 19-0 over Isa Harding Christian School. What is your favorite memory from cheerleading? Probably not getting the spirit stick at cheer camp <laughs> two times in a row. Um, mine would probably be cheer camp too, but like the water park side of cheer camp. Because it was the first time we ever went to a hotel with the water park um, instead of a university. Uh, mine would be having a good homecoming dance this year. All right, we're back to live action now at Isla Harding. Number 12, Scott Herstack is kicking off for the War Eagles. Once again, a squib kick to Sean Perry. He's going to pick it up. He's going to try to run with it this time. Finds a crease. Takes the ball out to about the 44-yard line. So good starting field position here for the Eagles. It'll be first and 10 from the 44. Also, we've been seeing Ryan Caldwell, the backup quarterback, warming up on the sideline. Last possession. You know, Blake Spellman, 21, has played both quarterback and tailback for us this year. And if we can't find anything going in the running game, I would expect Blake to move back there and maybe stick Ryan in at the quarterback position. If you see number 22 just eats up Daniel Williams in the backfield. Looks like he blitzed from the yeah. linebacker position. Yeah, Bubba Bowling, number 22. Thus far in the game, a quarter and a half has had a, a great ball game for the War Eagles. We're seeing Ryan Cole split out to this side. A single back in the backfield with Smotherman under center. Blake drops back, rolls out. He's going to take off and run with it. Fumbled the ball, but not before it went out of bounds. Yeah, 41, Dylan Bright runs him out of bounds. And hope Smotherman's okay. We didn't we didn't catch it on film, but he was pushed or forced out of bounds and went yeah. over the top of the aluminum bench. He tumbled over the bench. It's on the sidelines. But looks like he's okay. Yeah, Austin, he's back into the ball game. You know, there's many ads just that young man, but he's definitely tough. Yes, we yeah. keep saying that, but he is. Had many injuries. Played all last season with a growing injury. Mm -hmm. Carried over this year. Got hurt the first game. Broke his wrist. Hasn't stopped playing. Hasn't missed a game. Dedicated. Well, we're at third and about 14 yards to go for the Eagles. Bring a hard blitz from the left side. He's going to go deep to Caldwell. Just overthrows him. He had him open. Yeah, it looked like number 25, Jimmy Baggett, had slowed Caldwell down just a little bit off the line of scrimmage to mess up the timing just a little bit on that pass play. As hard as Sycamore's coming, the, the quick three-step drop is definitely an option for us. Yes, that's what we're going to have to stick to is the three steps because yeah. he didn't have much more time. But you can't help but think that this 10-mile-an-hour gusting up to 20-mile-an-hour wind that Blake threw into didn't carry that ball a bit further than he thought. Colt, Colt Ellis kicking again for the Eagles. Good job by Rayshon Perry and number 12, Jason Clark, getting down there to tackle him. Yeah, number seven, Freddie Teague. He's a senior for the, for the War Eagles. He's a, been a big return man for him this year. That was great coverage by the Eagles. Let's go, 
We send the Eagles stay in a still in a cover two look with double safeties. It's first and ten for the War Eagles, about the 35 yard line. He's gonna hand it off around the right side. Hurdles the defender. Breaks the tackle. He's running down the yeah. side. Looks like a nip's gonna get him out of bounds. Yeah. So once again, just huge holes for the War Eagles to run through. Yeah. Number 16. Elijah Panky, a freshman and a sophomore, Matthew Gadimp, number 11, had to force him out to save that touchdown. We're going to have to wrap up on these guys because they're running right through arm tackles. Well, you know, we've been in a position to make the stop almost every play. Also, yeah. we're just not wrapping up. Drops back. Oh, the ball comes out again. He picks it up. And slung down by number 34, Daniel Williams. Yeah, Adam Clanton, quarterback, just put the ball on the ground. So that's four, maybe five times we've seen the ball on the ground, but the Eagles just can't seem to come up with it. And once again, Daniel Thompson pressuring the, the War Eagles to force that fumble. Bring up second and long here for the War Eagles. Interesting to see what they'll run here, get out of this situation. It looks like he's a Harding loading the box. No safety in the middle of the field. First time we've seen him in the shotgun. Once again, a fumble, but it's. Yeah. Well, they, looks like the Eagles. They blow it, the whistle again. Uh, there's so many Eagles. I know they were led by Cranston Gentry, the inside linebacker, yeah, number 20. Great job of penetration on they, that play. They were really coming hard. To, to back the War Eagles up to third down and 24 yards. You have to think if this ball keeps falling on the ground, we'll get a turnover soon. That was a big stop for Eza Harding. It's a third and forever on this play. Drops back.